If you need to update your deck, go to 50cards.shop. Get 5% off your next purchase when you use code NEXUS. All right, everybody, we're back with another deck profile, and today we're doing Alden. So I actually really enjoy this deck a lot. I think it's a lot of fun, so I'm really excited to show you guys what I'm playing around with for this build. So without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right into the deck profile. Starting off, we got a ride line, super, super, super simple. Uh, the starter, which is sick, look at that. Love that art. Uh, the grade one, which is when it's rode on top of, you reveal three cards with different grades from your hand. Look at the top three, then you call a card with grade one or less to rear, and then you shuffle your deck. And then if you didn't have anything to call, you just draw a card afterwards. The grade two is literally the same thing, except instead of calling a grade one or less, you call a grade two or less. Uh, so more call targets. And then you have Alden, which is when it's, um, the main phase, I was gonna say when it's placed. Uh, act ability, once per turn, you can blast one, soul blast one, choose a grade three or less from your hand, call it to rear, and if you call the card, you draw two. So it's like basically pot agreed, so you just draw two cards. It has an auto ability when it attacks, you soul blast one if you have three rear guards with different grades, you pay the cost, and then you bounce one of your rear guards, two cards, grades less than or equal to the sum total of the card you bounced, and call them to rear in the same column. So if you have a grade three, you bounce a three, and you call a two and a one. If you bounce a two, you call two ones. It's, you know, simple math, but you get the idea. It's multi-attacking. But the idea here is to guarantee bounce a three, call a column, or just call the same three back again for more multi-attacking. So now we're getting into the meat of the deck. We got three more copies of Alden because Persona Ride. And then we got four copies of a new card, which is Light Leads Dragon. So this thing is kind of insane. If you have an Alden Vanguard, it gets boost for free. It's a 13K booster. At the end of the battle that this attacked or boosted, you put another rear guard in the same column as this unit into the soul, choose one of your units with Alden and it gets 10K. So you can pick your Vanguard or if you have another rear guard Alden, you can work with that too. So, you know, uh, but the idea here is that you boost or swing with this and then you put the other unit into the soul, give your van 10K, swing with this, bounce this three, call a column or call this back again, just to kind of add to the multi-attacking from there. Uh, then I am running one copy of Sages, just because uh, Sages is a really good card. It can help fill your soul when it swings with the top card. You either put it into your soul or leave it on the top of your deck. Then you can choose to counterblast and perform the following, which is if your opponent has a 14K or greater Vanguard, this unit's power increases by the same amount as their Vanguard. Then you could also remove an OT from your drop, choose another front row rear guard and give it 15K. So, you know, big old beater. This dude also has a continuous skill of when your opponent's drive check or damage check reveals a trigger, this gets 10K. So if your opponent gets a trigger, this just gets another free 10K anyways. Uh, so it's still a really good, uh, you know, I say like splashable tech card. And it's also really helpful when you run Forbidal. So I like Forbidal because it helps me search for my light leads and my Sages. And if I honestly want to, I can call a rear guard Alden just because light lead can give Alden's 10K. So a rear guard 23K beater is nice. And it thins out your deck. So can't complain with that. You know, you could go with Gridale if you want for Persona Ride, but I, I like the idea of deck thinning. And also if I don't have any light leads left in deck and then they're all in my drop for whatever reason, Forbidal can at least fetch it out of my drop zone. But that's it for grade threes. Um, also, we just want like a really consistent number of cards with different grades, just so that we can like have that three different grades ratio for this deck. So we gotta make sure we kind of have a balance with all of our ratios. So on to grade twos, running four copies of a new card, which is Air Mac. What this does is if you have an Alden Vanguard, when it's placed, it gets 5K. If it's placed by a card ability, it gets 15K instead of 5K. So if you call it with Alden skill, either the act or the auto, 15K, which is pretty sick. Speaking of more ways to call cards with card abilities, I'm running three copies of Kyrie. So what Kyrie does is when it's placed on Vanner Rear, Karen Blast, Soul Blast, look at top three, you choose a grade two or less unit, call it, or you can pick a grade three, uh, or if it's not a grade two or less unit, you just add it to your hand. So if it's an order or if it's a grade three, you add it to your hand. So, you know, this is still really good for filling your board, procking off air Mac. Kyber is a really good card. Uh, I am running three copies of Drilling Angel for the last of my grade twos. So we're only running 10 grade twos for this build. And just because we do go through the soul pretty quickly, especially with uh, both of Alden's skill, Kyber existing. So, 
being able to kind of be throat drilling angel down, get a soul real quick if I need to, it, you know, it doesn't hurt. So drilling angel picks a card from drop, puts it in your soul, you check top three, call the unit with the same name as you put the soul. So if you have an air mac and drop, you might get lucky, call it, boom, 20K, 25K beater. So that's honestly really cool too. So I like, I like what I got going on for my, my grade twos right now. I'm really comfortable with it. So next up for grade ones, we've got a new card, which is Firin. So this is your counter charge engine. Uh, what it does is when it's placed, it gets 2K if you, and then if you have a Vanguard or a unit with Alden in its name, you discard a card from hand, counter charge. So honestly, it's kind of funny because you could run this in Bastion if you wanted to, just if you have an Alden rear guard, you can get that counter charge off if you need to, but we got the bird now, so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's just a, you know, 10K booster and counter charge if you need it. So I like it at the three and also just because we need to have cards with different grades for the ratios. So then I'm also running three painkiller. I just really couldn't decide what other grade one I wanted to run. It was between this and that grade one Solryon card, which is when a card is placed by a card ability, you can counter blast a draw card, but I just didn't want to use too much of my counter blast because I need them for Alden. So, or Kyrie. So I didn't want to get too clunky with the counter blast. So I decided to go with the painkillers since we're gonna, you know, fill up our soul a decent amount with skills. So I figured, you know, that's helpful. And since we're gonna be soul blasting a lot, I'm running one copy of Topaz. So painkiller for the draw, Topaz for, you know, taking advantage of the soul blasting that we're doing. So Topaz is you pick two cards from that were in your ride deck that are either in the soul or in your drop zone, put them back into your ride deck face up. If it's the main phase, you look at top five, call a card from among them in the rear. If you call it during the battle phase, the called card is called as rest. And then in the guardian circle, you can get 15 shield. So I like this card just because it's shield. We soul blast a lot anyways, and it could help you look at top five and call a card you're looking for. So could call an air Mac, could call if you need soul, a drilling angel. So I, I do like this at the one. I'm thinking about maybe doing like a two and two kind of deal, two painkiller, two topaz, but we're still playing around with the ratios, but I like uh, I like how this is going right now. Lastly, for grade ones, we got our three PGs and our one Elementaria, because that's kind of like, you know, what we're doing with all these decks these days. We got Ignis with Triple Drive, Bastion Prime's back in the picture, Luard and Sherry New Year coming up pretty soon. So yeah, this is gonna be more important as time goes on, so. But that is it for the grade ones. We're going into the trigger units next. Starting off, we got our eight crit, got our four blade feather and our four uh, gurgant. I think honestly, if, if any deck could warrant running the skill crit, it's this deck, just because you go through the soul so much and sometimes you do have to call a trigger. So because you need to have three rear guards of different grades, if you're missing one, Sometimes you just gotta throw down the trigger just so you meet the requirements. So at least this trigger, at the end of the battle that boosts, it moves the soul, gives something 2K, so you can get something out of it. So definitely wanna run four Blade Feather in this deck. Then I'm running three front, because if we ran draw triggers, we'd probably deck out. Uh, just four heal, the vanilla heals are fine. Um, still playing around with like the skill heals and which one I wanna run for this meta right now, but the, there's nothing wrong with the vanilla. And then I'm running Valnet, uh, which is our OT of choice, because if I ran the Aramontanoa, I think I'd deck out. So what Valnet does is additional effect. You pick a rear guard, give it red text at the end of the, a standing rear guard, sorry, red text at the end of the battle that this unit attacked, stand this unit. And if you did not choose a unit because you don't have a standing rear guard, you could draw a card, choose a card from your hand, call it, and then you can apply the effect. So what's really cool about this is that you can just, you know, draw a card, call a card, then apply the 100 million. So you can still get that extra attack, which is nice. So Vana is just an extender, get another attack in. We're already multi-attacking, might as well do more of it. So that is it for the deck profile. Um, now we're just kind of kind of going to show what the, the deck is like. So let's do that. This little playthrough for all intents and purposes is just to kind of give you the idea of what the deck can do. Um, it is a little bit RNG-ish, so just bear with me on this and then let's let's just go from here. So we're starting a turn, we're gonna ride to a grade two. We need to make sure that our hand is keeping the like ratios of having enough, you know, twos, threes, and zeros, so and ones, just so that we can use skills. So we're gonna ride to our grade two. We can now reveal uh, three cards with different grades. So then that allows us to Look at the top five to call a grade one or less. So we did get a grade one and we can choose to do that. So I will call the grade one because I do, in fact, like being able to pressure my opponent with big old numbers. And that way maybe they won't, you know, no pass me the minute I swing. So we'll just stick with this. Swing for 18, 
Maybe they guard, choose not to guard. Didn't get a trigger, but we did get a grade three, which is pretty big here. We can use Painkiller to then Soul Blast and draw another card. Hopefully you get another grade three. Wow. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm pretty good at this game. Passing the turn, getting some damage triggers. That wasn't a trigger. Maybe we need a guard. Uh, we have enough cards at different grades. So I'm actually not worried about letting this go, but let's just say for the sake, we have to take another damage, but we'll work with that. We'll draw our card and then we have to discard something. Uh, I'm actually gonna choose to discard the Aramac because we got plenty of Counter Blast to work with here, right into that Alden. So again, we have to reveal cards with different grades. So a one, three, and a two. Look at the top five and then we can choose to call a card and I'm definitely going to call that Aramac because that Aramac now gets 15k instead of five because it was called by a card ability. All right, then we can start calling some more stuff. So I'll go ahead and start using Alden's skill, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, call a card, and then we need to draw two. Then because I placed a card, Counter Blast 1, we can choose Soul Blast 1. And I will because I still have a way to feed into my soul thanks to Light Lead. But I'm gonna look at the top three to call a card. And you know what? We can use the Topaz if we want to here. So I will choose to do that just for fun. Still the main phase. And then we got our two cards with different games from our ride deck. They go back up. We can look at the top five. Maybe we'll get something good here. All right, nothing, nothing too good, but you know what? Air Mac is already swinging for 25K. Losing out on a booster here is maybe not too bad of an idea, but you know what? Alternatively, you could switch it around like this. Just make this a really, really big old beefy number, right? But, you know, this is all hypothetical. So let's say now with Angel, let's say, maybe we'll get lucky and get another painkiller. Put a painkiller Angel to Soul, top three, no luck, but it's fine. We got another card in the Soul. All right, so what we got now? We need a grade three or a grade zero, just so we have cards of different grades, but we will call that light lead because it is too good to pass up. So now we got a pretty good board and a pretty good hand on targets to call. So let's go ahead and go into the battle phase. So light lead gets boost. So this is a 23K column, which is pretty good. Light lead skill at the end of the battle. This goes to soul, Vanguard gets 10K. So Vanguard swinging for 23, doesn't need to be boosted. We can use its skill to counter blast one. Soul Blast 1, bounce at grade 3. So now we can either call a grade 3 or cards that equal the sum of 3. So we can call an Air Mac and maybe we'll call a Painkiller, right? Because we got the soul for it. Or alternatively, if you didn't have the soul for it, you could call a Fear on, get a counter charge if you needed to. But this is a pretty good column right here. That got 15k, so then we get our twin drive off. No triggers, but that's fine. You know why? Because these are both some really big 33K columns without even being persona ridden. So um, I would say, depending on what you wanna do, maybe next turn you realize you wanna keep the soul so you didn't do the painkiller. Maybe you wanna do this, and then maybe if you wanted to use the skill for more counter blast the next turn, you could choose to do the counter charge. Uh, maybe we do have too many grade threes in hand, so we can discard a light lead for the counter charge. If, if you know, maybe I wanna get more counter blast for next turn, I don't wanna use my soul, so I can use Alden next turn, go from there. But you can do some really, really big, beefy numbers this with these turns of all nut, cool. So we're just surviving this turn, but let's just say we're not that lucky and we did damage a PG. We have to guard with some cards, do some intercepts. So this, you know, it's a very, very, very like, RNG deck. So, so let's say you survive in that turn, but you got nothing to really work with here. But you know what? Let's just start off with Vanguard's act ability. You can still counter blast one, soul blast one, call a card, draw two. Cool. Got more stuff to work with. Maybe we'll forb it all for more deck thinning, right? Pull out a, a Sages and we can pull out an Alden if you want to. Just pulling some cards out of your deck, just making it a little bit easier for you. And then now what are we working with? We got a one, we got a two, we got a three. We can still use, pretty much use most of our abilities here. This has to boost. So let's work with what we got. So then we can go into our battle phase, swing with this Calden. We got Sages' skill, look at the top card. It's a trigger. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna have soul for the cost later. So you know what? I'm gonna leave that trigger there because I wanna get a heal trigger off. And then we can use light lead. This goes to soul. Now we can choose either Vanguard 10k or Rearguard Alt in 10k. Probably the Van because we didn't Persona Ride this turn. But then when we swing, kind of blast, Soul Blast, bounce a three. Then we can call a two and a one or another three if we wanted to. You know, work with what we got here. And then we knew we got a trigger. Maybe we get lucky, get another one. Nope. But still, you kind of get the idea here. Swing, 
swing. It's just a fun little multi-attack deck. So I would say if you want to build a Keter Sanctuary deck and you want something that's like kind of fun and not too crazy, but you like the whole like RNG style of being able to like, you know, fill a board and like, you know, multi-attack and do some like funny little shenanigans. You know, I think this deck might work out for you. And then you don't need to run Forbidal and Sages, right? You can run other fun little grade one cards, or you could run, instead of Kyrie, maybe you could run more beat sticky grade twos, or you can run more drilling angels. It's up to you how you want to play the deck. And I think this is like a very fun introduction deck for the most part. And I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. So I definitely want to take around with this a little bit more and kind of show you guys what shows up in the future, maybe for Alden. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I always appreciate you guys coming out and checking out these little jank decks. Be sure to check out 50 cards uh, for the playset bundles, supplies, anything you need for Vanguard really is going to be there for you guys. And you can get 5% off and use code Nexus. Also be sure to check out Dragon Shield. You can pick up the nice outer sleeves you can use for character sleeves. I got one right here for you guys. So these are the character sleeves that I'm pretty much using, you know, or outer sleeves I'm pretty much been using for most of my Vanguard decks. So I really do like Dragon Shield for those. And I'm also using Dragon Shield for my main deck as well. These are the dual matte snow sleeves. So um, they feel really good when you shuffle with them. I think I have the box over here. This is pretty much what I've been using for my decks, like if I'm not sleeving them. So they got the nice, you know, black inside and the, the color on the outside. So, and you can also get a uh, 5% off with code Nexus as well when you shop on Dragon Shield online. So check out the online shops, uh, check out our other deck profiles, and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.